Hello everyone at Korean from Zero. This is George Trombley. I am here in Korea and I am taking advanced classes or at least what I feel are advanced classes for Korean. Uh, the level that I'm in is Ogup, Ogup which means level 5. I did Sagup before and Samgup before. Uh, over the last three years I have lived in Korea now for over seven months doing it one month at a time. It's like uh, like I'm doing installment plans on how long I've lived in Korea. So, so far it's been seven months and in those seven months I've taken advantage of the time while I'm here and I've uh, the custom that I do is I'll take a private class in the morning and then I'll do a group class immediately following that. And the reason why I do that is because it takes more than one month to do each level. So uh, in order to achieve the entire level, I normally jump into the middle of an ongoing class in the group. For example, this time I started with Shibirgua, which is 11, uh, lesson 11. And then in the morning, it's the weirdest thing, I start doing 1 through 10. So I'll do lessons 1 through 10 in a private class, and I'll do <laughs> lesson 11. Oops, sorry about that. I have many people cacao talking to me while I'm here. I'm meeting with two of my, I'm trying to cut the sound, but there, testo, I did it. All right, so anyway, uh, so I'll learn, the ha in the morning I'll learn stuff that I haven't yet learned in lesson 11, and then in le lesson 11, they'll actually be totally using what I haven't learned yet. It's kind of nice, but it's okay because uh, it kind of matches the, you, you, know, how, you know how you have a class of people and some people don't remember the grammar that they learned? It's kind of like I just didn't remember the grammar. But the teacher this time around is a little bit rough, and she'll say, you're gonna learn that in the morning, don't worry about it, and she won't teach it to me. So sometimes I'm like frantically looking up in the dictionary to find out the thing, and then I'll go, oh, that's amazing, and then I'll just use it. It's actually not as bad as it could be. I will say one thing though. Uh, there is this girl in the class from Thailand, and she is horrible. It's cute as a button. I mean, ultra, like really cute. She's a hip hop dancer. She's totally amazing at dancing, like top probably two or three in the country. She's famous for dancing. Can't do the Korean and the teacher always has to like pull her through every answer and I almost quit the class almost quit that class to just add on another private because I was so tired of waiting for her to do the answer and you know I'm gonna say obviously but I'm really good so I felt like man if only there was amazing students in the class like me that's kind of what I was feeling like and then they sent another Chinese girl in and she's brilliant and then another Thai girl came who was brilliant and they're better than me so now I feel like at least okay now I have someone to compete with. Now I can uh, get better at Korean. And I'm doing really well. I'm very happy with the class. I'm also taking Chinese classes, but that... If you want to know more about what I'm doing with Chinese, go over to my other channel. It's called Polyglot George. It's up on uh, YouTube. I also have a Facebook page for that. Uh, that's for where I talk about things that are sometimes related to other languages or how Korean relates to Japanese or kind of a mix... Mish? A mish? I was... Uh, mi There's a word I'm looking for here. Mix, match, pish, posh, there's a word. Someone tell me what it was because I don't know what it was. Anyway, let's get to the main point of this video. As I was coming out of my class yesterday, the most amazing thing happened, and apparently uh, this thing happens all the time here in Gangnam, uh, which is the famous place, Gangnam, famous for Gangnam style. But it's basically a very rich area, and uh, I always get an apartment right in the middle of it because I love to be in this area. One of the reasons I love it is because there's a lot of language meetups, and there's a lot of hagwon, a lot of private academies that teach English and Chinese and all sorts of things. So that's where I learned Korean and also my Chinese uh, class is like right up the street. So I can do both in one day very easily and then come back to my apartment and die and just crash because my brain is completely gone. But yesterday, as I was coming out of my classroom for Korean, I was heading towards the restaurant where I go to eat and I normally listen to my Chinese class from the day before and I write my notes. Well, there was four cute girls on the Gangnam Style stage. There's a stage that has Gangnam Style on it. It's this big stage with like a like a, a silhouette of Sai. And a lot of people take photos there, but they also do street concerts there. And a lot of times what they'll do is if there's a new K-pop girl group or a new K-pop guy group, this is their first chance to interact with people and they go there and they sing. And there were four girls, very cute, and the name is just hilarious. Okay, the name is Chia Kok. And if, you ever, if you've ever seen that video, uh, it's cheer, 
Coke, by the way. Cheer Coke. But have you ever seen that video? Uh, there's a girl, I think it's called Sea Smile or something like that. There's a girl, a, a lady teaching Korean, and she's like, Do you like Coke? I like Coke. Everybody like Coke. And she's not trying to be funny, but it's hilarious as an American because it sounds like not Coke. It sounds like something else. So the girls keep saying, We are Chia Coke. Chia Coke. And then they're having the crowd like say, Chia Coke. And it's hilarious and also I don't think they thought the name out not because of that but also because it's spelled C-O-K-E cheer coke I think coca-cola might have a problem with that name but they didn't really think it through <laughs> here is some video of the girls and I sat right in front with my camera the whole time and I gotta tell you it's intoxicating because they are not not only are they very cute but when they're singing they look you right in the eye like they're like like just Oh, just you melt, you melt. Because one of the reasons I came to Korea is K-pop. I mean, I freaking love K-pop. I love, I even like the guy groups, I'll be honest. If there was guys there, I would have watched them and I would have been almost as intoxicated. But girls, of course, for me. So beautiful. And uh, and then they had times where they would, you know, talk to the crowd. So I'll try to give you a mix. I'll show you, I'm just going to string it all in a row. And hopefully YouTube won't take it uh, down. Because in the end, they did sing Sonyo Shide. And they did sing uh, Kara songs, but I realized midway through that I, 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 you know when you're recording on your camera, you miss the button once, and then you think you're recording, but yet that's, you hit the stop, and it's just dead. And then the next time you try to stop, you realize now you're recording. There was this really great part where she was, this one girl was dancing so, like, you know, solo K-pop dance. Mm -hmm. Sexy, sexy. And I missed it. And I'm sorry. But here's what I got. Here is Chia Kok. See you. Oh, this is it. I'm just gonna leave you with them. Check Coke.
점프를 이렇게 높이 뛰셔야 돼요. 아시겠죠? 자, 두분 같이. 민망하시면 두분 같이. 하나, 둘, 셋, 시작! 후! 